Yep, feeling good. Over four years, Doug Ford has dug himself in and out of controversies, from COVID restrictions to health care funding to paving over green space. Yes, to putting shovels in the ground for new highways. But Ontario has largely survived the big issue, the pandemic. And polls show the Premier who steered the province through it is now positioned to win re-election. Folks, June the 2nd, we'll have a choice. And we're going to make sure this province continues to prosper. The challenge for official opposition leader Andrea Horvath is that her party, the NDP, has only once formed government in Ontario. Job number one is to defeat Doug Ford. Job number two for Horvath is to hold off Stephen Del Duca, who's trying to revive the Liberal Party after its massive defeat in 2018. People respond favorably to our plan and to the dynamic new candidates who are running with me. For Del Duca and Horvath, plan A is to win, plan B is to not finish third. Obviously he'll want to become Premier, but the real battle is, is going to be for second place. Who's going to form official opposition? Premier Ford has Ontario history on his side. In the last century, Conservatives have won two-thirds of all Ontario provincial elections and every newly elected Conservative government has been re-elected to a second term. And there is another distinctive voting pattern here. For the past 60 years, the party in power in Ottawa has been like a trigger for Ontario to go the opposite way. In 15 of the last 16 provincial elections, Ontario voters have picked a Premier of a different stripe from the sitting Prime Minister. With Pierre Trudeau came Conservative Bill Davis. Mulroney saw Peterson and Ray. Chrétien came, and then so did Mike Harris. Conservative Stephen Harper spent a decade opposite Liberal premiers, and only after Justin Trudeau was elected did Conservatives move back into the Ontario Premier's office. It's an interesting thing that we do um, as, as Canadians. In, in a sense, we don't want to give too much power to one political ideology or to one group of people. And as previous Ontario premiers have discovered, smooth relations with the other team in Ottawa can be good politics. You know, I don't know, I, I just put all these political stripes aside. We, we work so well together. For Ontarians, there's nothing contradictory going one way federally and another provincially. And the current premier hopes that history holds in 2022. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.